Sony Computer Entertainment. Super massive games. Until dawn. of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, with their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I got to say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. but. I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together and I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> never heard that comparison before. That'll never hear it again, but okay. Oh, music's back. Back to the intro. Very funny over there. Points. One. Memento Mori. Ten hours until dawn. Oh no. Go, go. 
Sam, Hannah's best friend. She's considerate, adventurous, diligent. Oh, continue. I'm just sitting there waiting for that to move on, but I didn't realise there was a continue down the bottom right. <laughs> continue. the cable station 902. I'm assuming that's PM. No it is PM because it's 2109. <laughs> 2102. Tutorial you can use the left and sick to move. Oh so we can. That's a bit obvious but I don't know why I never tried that until now. Let's oh no I keep doing that I keep going to press this one to run but it's not. Move the controller to inspect objects. Yeah I know that. What? The gate's busted, climb over. <sighs> Chris. Damn it. Okay. That's not a problem, is it? We can climb. How do we do this? Oh, Jesus, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, climb. I just looked so wrong, I just looked at my camera as I was trying to shake the gate. No, right, okay, how do we climb? Go to the side. Climb over. Uh, let's go. There was a guy behind us, let's go quick. Oh, okay, I almost missed that. Uh, climb. Go jump. Square. these bushes here. I'm going way over the way <laughs> avoiding them. Also let's run <laughs> or walk fast. Aww. It's just a squirrel. <laughs> hey little fella. You hungry? Huh? Don't move. Oh! I scared oh, away. Damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. No, don't. Hold your controller really, really still. I'm not moving. <laughs> Tori, if you're unsure what to do next, you can press the R1 current objectives by pressing R1. L -R1. I've pressed this quite a lot. Head to the cable car station. Cool. I've pressed that quite a lot of times by accident. I'm probably going to press it a lot more times by accident. Those birds didn't scare me. <laughs> you failed horror game. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. <laughs> Should not be laughing. Don't encourage the game to scare me. <laughs> cool. Okay. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Is that what it says? Tribes who once lived in the mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The colour of butter butterfly in something, the nature of the prophecy. Black is death. Black butterflies prophesies the dreamer's death. Da red is danger. Red butterflies warned of dangerous events. Brown is loss. Brown butterflies foretold a tragedy affecting friends. Yellow is guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Yell white fortune. White butterflies brought to dream, uh, dreams of luck and good fortune. We need to find some white butterflies. Oh, this is a yellow one. I forgot what yellow was. Yellow was... I can't even remember what yellow was. As you explore, you can discover totem artifacts, picking them up and tuning in... Okay, I was too slow. I know how to do this anyway. We spin it over and look inside. It was a guidance totem. Didn't really help at all, but okay. The future is uncertain. Whether or not the prophecies come true depends on the choices you make. Mm. 
pressing R1 at any time to let you look at your totem collection. Aha. I have done that. Oh look, we've got more of the events of the past. See, we've got a second part of it now. Should we play this? Okay, that wasn't very pleasant. Back. Let's just play the game. Let's get in the cable car and go. Pushing myself forwards at all costs. Oh, look, there's a bag. Who else is here? Chris? Chris. You here? It's Chris. Bag's here. Where are you? You're not in the bag, are you? Hello. What do we have here? Don't answer it. Snoop. Of course we're going to snoop. Oh, it's a white butterfly. That's a good one. Aha! Look who it is. My actions have changed the narrative of the game. He knows it. Chris. Has the crush on act actually protective? Humorous. Method something. Methodical? Methodical? I think that says. Okay. You scared me. I I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. going to blow your mind. No. The snow sounds pretty awesome, actually. It actually sounds like walking on real snow. Oh, what is this? What is this? Clue found oh, wanted poster. Look at this. Nice. Male, six foot two. You think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted? Better not. Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is a fan of us. Solve missions and until dawn increase the chance of survival. These messages go by too fast. Okay. Ta da! Pretty rad, right? Yeah! Come on, look at these beauties! Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> Alright, here goes. Kind a gun's probably a good thing. We play this Chris now, or is it just gonna? Oh, we are. Ah, oh, this is cool. Point of wireless controller to aim. Oh, there's the target over there. How do we shoot? There we go. Nice. We got it. Okay, let's get the ball. Oh, it's a can. Okay. What is this? Oh yeah. We got pro skills. Alright, I'm bad. I'm a bad ass. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Nah, I don't think so, girl. I don't think it's beginner's luck. I think he's pretty good. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. I am not shooting a squirrel. No. <laughs> Shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. Take the gun with us. Take it with us. No. No, you're taking it with us. You're taking it with us. I'm not going anywhere without this. Okay, then. I guess we can't take it with us. To the cable cart we go. Yeah, it was not. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Here goes fast. Yo, yeah, why can't I take the gun? We're gonna need that later on. I reckon we're gonna come down here later on and get it. We'll pick it yeah, up. Yeah, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that. 
What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Okay, we've got a key we can unlock. It's not a problem. Gentlemen. Is it just us two that are going? Or is everyone else already there? We're just late, maybe. Okay, I'm assuming we gotta go call the cart from in here. Oh, what's this? What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. Not so rich. Family bottom mountain. Wasn't that interesting? Okay, there's a computer. That's more interesting. Very bad security camera. And I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. I'm starting to get the appeal of killing time at the shooting range. How long is this gonna take? It's a big mountain. Yeah. It's so beautiful in the day, but at night just feels menacing, like sleeping giant. You gonna publish? Something's gonna happen. What? You're pretty poor. Music starting. The sleeping giant of Blackwood Forest. Oh, that's the cable car. I thought it was music starting, like tension building, but it's just the cable car coming down, so it's nothing. I thought the music was building up and the camera was going to change to something else, and I was just going to be like, ah! But no, no. You missed an opportunity there. Because I probably expected it. Finally. But I would still have got a fright. Yeah, well, I was going to stay here and catch some Z's, but. Alright, let's go. Just like going to the prom. Prom up a mountain. Here we okay. go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good. Good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I'm kind of the worried. No, no, it was it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Are we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what? You're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. Oh, wow, good story, bro. And became friends to this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early, and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her train bra? I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. <gasps> right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. <laughs> what an example of the butterfly effect. <laughs> Nope, oh, someone new. Jess makes a new girlfriend. Trusting, irrelevant, confident. In what way is she irrelevant? Let's just wait till she talks and we'll find out. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. Hmm, now we're playing this song. Do we get to play like every character in this game? It's pretty cool. So it's like we're not following one person's story, we're following hell? everyone's. Jess! Hey! Jessica! Over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please? Um, sure. That was easy. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another ten minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. It's all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. 
My goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Um Yeah, let's just give it back. Give that back, you tool. Tool and die. That's my motto. Oh, you're such an idiot. Maybe nosy Nancy shouldn't go nosing around in other people's nostrils. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to do that, as a rule. Come on, Jess, you can tell us. I totally keep secrets. Whatever. You'll figure it out eventually. All right, all right, let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? <laughs> I mean, you know, whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? <gasps> Did you see this view? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. 